A very good morning to everybody. Thank you so much for joining us for this press conference ahead of the second test match here in St. Lucia against the West Indies. Um, as usual, I'd just like to remind everyone to please ensure that their monitors are muted and that you put your request to ask a question in the chat panel. Um, who would like to go first? Hi Dean, um, hope you guys are doing well there. I guess there's not much to talk about after the last match in terms of what you're looking for from an improvement perspective. Um, could you maybe just tell us if you think you'll make any changes and also if you've seen the pitch and you think it'll behave the same way? Hi for those. Um, well, with regards to your question, I think there's maybe the debate obviously on uh, Timber's uh, fitness. Um, I'm not quite sure how that's progressed so far because um, we have obviously an optional training session today, so I'm not sure if he's going to be there for that. Um, so I think the only selection um, uh, issue we have is obviously whether he's fit, fit for tomorrow's test. Um, other than that, um, yeah, good test and uh, the first one is obviously a good test and we'll try to uh, replicate what, what, what happened there in the first test would make me very happy. Yes. How's it, Dean? Um, just want to know the first test. Would you say that was probably one of the most convincing and well-rounded performances uh, that that you've been a part of? And if so, um, how did you guys manage that? Because I mean, you you struggled a, a, a bit the last few tests. What what, what changed? Um, yeah, I think um, uh, clinical is a word that jumps to mind. I think. I think uh, ruthless is also another word that comes to mind. I think our bowlers led the pack brilliantly. I think a lot of senior players put their hands up, and and I think that's been my message uh, since our get together in Irene um, from uh, for our first uh, uh, camp, if you want to call it that. Um, so my message has been pretty stern and pretty straightforward. Um, our guys know where they stand with me, um, especially our senior guys. That's been around a little bit longer. We know for us to move in one direction as senior as a senior group, we need to obviously put in massive performances like that in the first test. But yeah, I think the words clinical and ruthless jump to mind with regards to our performance uh, in the first test. And I mentioned uh, in a presser uh, before we left uh, Irene is that I'm looking for guys to obviously put up their hands for hundreds and fifers. And it was great to see guys reacting in such a positive way. Garvin? followed by Telford and Ken. Hi, good morning, Dean. Gavin Richards from uh, the DBS Radio in Dominica. Um, a question regarding um, Jaden Seals. It was the first time that you guys would have faced him. He made his debut. Um, your impressions on, 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 on how he bowled for the West Indies? Yeah, firstly, I can't believe he's 19. He's an absolute mountain of a person. Um, big, uh, strong guy, but obviously he's still very young, and I think he's... Uh, He's just uh, exuberance at youth is uh, is running through him. Um, I was quite quietly impressed with the way he conducted himself on the field. Um, I wouldn't have said it was his debut. Um, it looked like he had played quite a few big matches before prior building up to the first test. But I mean, his control looked pretty good. It looked like he ran with good energy. Being a younger guy, I mean, he's, I guess he's got no excuse when it comes to not having energy. Um, so yeah, he looked like a bright uh, prospect for West Indian cricket going forward. And uh, being not only 19, I mean, the world's uh, underneath his feet at the moment. So yeah, I was uh, quietly impressed with him. Salford. How's it, Dean? I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you've had a look at the pitch and uh, I'd like to know, does it look similar to the one for the first test? And, 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 and can you tell us what you might do if you win the test? Um, yeah, two good questions. Uh, the wicket does look a little bit similar. Um, we've had a bit of uh, rain around uh, the island uh, the last few days. So I think the wicket's maybe a little bit softer, but with regards to a grass cover point of view, it looks pretty similar to the first first test. Um, yeah, I, I haven't wrapped my head around just yet what I'll do at the toss. Um, I'm generally a bad first kind of guy because of you don't win the game in the first day, you kind of win the game. Uh, our closer to day in four and five where the ball creates uh, indentations in the wicket. And I mean, we're having big fast bowlers bowl, bowl and hit those indentations. That's where the ball obviously reacts uh, from an up and down point of view. Um, so yeah, just to answer your second part, I haven't 
I haven't wrapped my mind around uh, just yet. I have a couple of hours uh, to obviously make that final decision by getting a, a, a bit more information from our, our coaching staff and maybe a few senior players around me. Okay. Hey, since that New Zealand tour, I think if you guys want to win this test, it should be your first uh, away series. Excuse me, sorry. It's Ken, it's, it's Ken first and then Akeem. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Sips. Hello, Dean. Hello. Um, you, you mentioned the, the bowlers being clinical and ruthless. And I also just remember a comment you made before the test match about uh, going back to uh, typical South African sort of disciplines, even, even if people call it boring test cricket. Uh, the, the bowlers were really amazing the way they just stuck outside that, uh, stuck to that channel outside off stump, which which really seemed to squeeze the West Indies batsmen. Is that the sort of thing you were talking about? Is, is that the sort of um, strategy that you're really keen on using going forward? Yeah, I think, Ken, if you, if you look at how the first test panned out, I think everything uh, uh, boiled to a, a very well spoke about plan prior to the test starting. Um, I mentioned the old school South African way. We obviously have an, a, a good spin bowler, one of the better, the best spin bowlers as well now in the world, I would say. So we're having three fast bowlers and an all rounder and a spinner is, is pretty much my, my old school South African thinking way. Of, of trying to uh, orchestrate and trying to win a test. Um, so yeah, but it was it was great to see them actually stick to a plan. I think of late we maybe been searching a little bit. Uh, we I know in test cricket you can't go searching too much, um, but we we were quite um, happy and glad to have the wicket that we uh, played on because I mean if there's a bowling unit that's going to get something out of that wicket, it's going to be our bowling unit, um, and and they've been bowling brilliantly. Uh, even before we got to the to the Caribbean, they were bowling brilliantly in the in our in our camp that we had. Um, so yeah, I think it was pretty much similar to the way I kind of uh, want the, our bowlers to operate. Um, so yeah, um, it was a it was a brilliant bowling effort by them. Okay. Darwin, I swore you call my name. That's everybody mix up. Uh, oh. Since 2017, when you guys would have toured New Zealand, that would be the last time you would have won an away tour. Uh, I guess you must be pumped in ensuring that you finish your job in the second test. Yeah, I hope so. Um, I mean, that's ultimately why we're here, is to uh, win tests and win test series. Um, we, we've got like one foot in the bag so far. Um, and uh, in my opinion, we're not going to stop there. Um, I still want another test win. And obviously try to seal out the series 2-0 would be brilliant for us. I think just winning one test has gone such a long way for us already. And I think we realize that another test win can take us even further as, as a unit. Um, yeah, because we need we need test wins and we need series wins. I mean, that's the bottom line. Irrespective of the result in this uh, second test, this River Richards Trophy returns to South Africa. But you must be wary of the fact that the West Indies could bounce back and give you guys a more substantial fight in the second test. Definitely, I expect that as well. Um, I've been around long enough now to uh, to kind of know how teams bounce back when you come to their to their home country and they get a beating. And I know what they're going to respond with. Uh, first and foremost, they're professional cricketers and uh, extremely proud cricketing nation. Uh, I definitely expect them to bounce back. Um, trust me, I'm definitely not taking that for granted. I know they're going to come back with a plan. Um, they've got uh, a lot of pride in their in their squad, and I'm sure they were hurting after that that first test loss. But um, yeah, I'm very much aware of them bouncing back. Just um, to remind everyone to ask one question, please, at a time, because we do have a few people that um, are requesting questions. Um, we're going to go. So can you so next? Thanks, Pogazi. Good afternoon, Dean. Um, you've captained the Poteas twice in temporary situations, uh, but last week was your first um full dig at, at the job. Um, just talk us through your emotions and how it felt for you and the boxes that you need to tick for yourself leading into the next test. Yeah, I've alluded to obviously in the past, me captaining on two different occasions. You don't really have the full 
control if around the team because you're only there for a temporary basis to kind of in a role that um, that that uh, was lacking at that point in time with the, with the captains being away. Um, now uh, it's a totally different uh, avenue, whereas I have I have almost all the control with regards to the way I want to construct things for the for the squad, uh, construct things for different individual players where I see them fitting in. Um, so it's a total different um, ball, um, totally different avenue for me now, whereas I can construct and get more structure for, for the squads uh, going forward. It is. I realise obviously you thinking about your test match and with, from a time zone perspective, you're far away from England, but the World Test Championship final starts tomorrow and uh, you've played against uh, New Zealand and India over the years. Just, I don't know whether you're going to watch or not, but um, what, what do you think we can look forward to and, and how do you rate the two teams and their performance over the last few years? I think it's going to be exciting. Uh, uh, one, one match, uh, one off match World Cup Test Championship. Um, yeah, um, whoever wins, whoever wins. I've actually got not a lot of interest in that fixture. Um, I, I need to focus on uh, my protest setup that I, that uh, that we need to obviously start well tomorrow and play five days of, of good cricket and try and get another one. Um, but yeah, um, as you alluded to, I don't think I'm going to pay too much attention to that game. I think it's going to be a very good game because both teams are are. That rightly so, they deserve to be in that position to play in the in the final. Um, so yeah, best of luck to to both teams. But I think it's going to be also a very good test match to watch. And tennis. Dean, um, when when Falk was captain, he used to say that he liked to keep his finger on the pulse of what was happening at the administrative level, at board level, um, within cricket South Africa as well. I was wondering now that you're captain, um, do you pay any attention to that? And if so, what did you, uh, what do you make of the of the new board that's been elected? Uh, is it a, a case of you guys hoping for a for a new era, a new dawn in in South African cricket? Well, I hope there's going to be a new era, a new dawn. Um, we can't go back to what we had. Um, it just doesn't uh, treat the game in very good light. Um, I think the 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 job when you're getting stated as as a captain of the format, um, I think whether you like it or not, you're always going to be involved with those kind of uh, chats on a boardroom front. First and foremost, I'm not a boardroom specialist. I'm not a politician. I'm a cricket player and the pro team's captain, and that's all I care about. Um, I'd like to say that I trust the the, the new structure going forward. Um, I think cricket needs to be put first again, where I think it was taking a, a very much of a bad back seat in the past. So hopefully with a new structure and the new board that they've implemented, that they can get cricket back uh, up and running where, where rightly so, where we think it, it should be. But um, I haven't paid a lot of attention uh, towards what, what has happened now in the last few weeks. Um, as mentioned, I'm not a board person and I'm definitely not a politician when it comes to that. First of all, because your request came in late, you're allowed one question, please. Please don't run with those <laughs> quick um, injections of three or four questions. One question for you, please. Thank you, Supakazi. Surprisingly, I'm all covered already, ma'am, so I have no questions, ma'am. Oh, okay, fantastic. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us. I will put out a um, an update on Timber as soon as we've got one. Um, whether that would be after today's practice or perhaps um, just before the start of play. Hopefully, it will be at the end of practice today. But um, have a good evening and a good afternoon in South Africa, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, Supakazi, just before you go, can I ask you if you know about West Indies and what they're doing? Sorry to ask on here, but I don't have any other way of asking. No problem. Um, I will send you guys anything that comes through from their media manager. I'm sure they'll definitely have something today. Thank you. No problem. Take care, guys. Thank you.